Loon LLC is an Alphabet Inc. subsidiary working on providing Internet access to rural and remote areas. The company uses high-altitude balloons placed in the stratosphere at an altitude of about 18 km to create an aerial wireless network with up to 4 G LTE speeds. It was named Project Loon, since even Google itself found the idea of providing Internet access to the remaining 5 billion population unprecedented and «loony». It may also be a reference to the balloons used. Loon began as a research and development project by X, formerly Google X, but was spun out into a separate company in July 2018. The balloons are maneuvered by adjusting their altitude in the stratosphere to float to a wind layer after identifying the wind layer with the desired speed and direction using wind data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration (NOAA). Users of the service connect to the balloon network using a special Internet antenna attached to their building. The signal travels through the balloon network from balloon to balloon, then to a ground-based station connected to an Internet service provider ISP, then onto the global Internet. The system aims to bring Internet access to remote and rural areas poorly served by existing provisions, and to improve communication during natural disasters to affected regions. Key people involved in the project include Rich Duvall, Chief Technical Architect, who is also an expert on wearable technology, Mike Cassidy, a project leader, and Cyrus Beruzzi, a networking and telecommunication lead. The balloons use patch antennas, which are directional antennas, to transmit signals to ground stations or LTE users. Some smartphones with Google SIM cards can use Google Internet services. The whole infrastructure is based on LTE, the Enedeb component, the equivalent of the base station that talks directly to handsets, is carried in the balloon. Topic <laughs> timeline. In 2008, Google considered contracting with or acquiring Space Data Corp., a company that sends balloons carrying small base stations about 20 miles up in the air for providing connectivity to truckers and oil companies in the southern United States, but didn't do so. Unofficial development on the project began in 2011 under incubation in Google X with a series of trial runs in California's Central Valley. The project was officially announced as a Google project on June 14, 2013. On June 16, 2013, Google began a pilot experiment in New Zealand where about 30 balloons were launched in coordination with the Civil Aviation Authority from the Tekapo area in the South Island. About 50 local users in and around Christchurch and the Canterbury region tested connections to the aerial network using special antennas. After this initial trial, Google plans on sending up 300 balloons around the world at the 40th parallel south that would provide coverage to New Zealand, Australia, Chile, and Argentina. Google hopes to eventually have thousands of balloons flying in the stratosphere. In May 2014, Google X Laboratories director, Astro Teller, announced that, rather than negotiate a section of bandwidth that was free for them worldwide, they would instead become a temporary base station that could be leased by the mobile operators of the country it was crossing over. This was based on work done by the Access Field Development Director, Kai Wolf who was involved in fiber and broadband rollouts in emerging markets from the early 2000s. In May–June 2014 Google tested its balloon-powered Internet access venture in Piauí, Brazil, marking its first LTE experiments and launch near the equator. In 2014 Google partnered with France's Centre National d'Études Spatiales on the project. In February 2014, the record streak for a balloon lasting in the stratosphere was 50 days. 
In November 2014, the record was 130 days, and in March 2, 2015, the record for a continuous balloon flight is 187 days over six months. On July 28, 2015, Google signed an agreement with officials of Information and Communication Technology Agency ICTA, Sri Lanka, to launch the technology on a mass scale. As a result, by March 2016, Sri Lanka will be the second country in the world to get full coverage of Internet using LTE, after Vatican City. In February 2016, Google announced to have achieved a stable laser communication connection between two balloons over a distance of 62 miles The connection was stable over many hours and during day and night time and reached a data rate of 155 megabits per second. On February 25, 2016, Google started testing their auto launcher named Chicken Little at former naval station Roosevelt Roads located in Kaiba, Puerto Rico, in May 2017 SpaceData started proceedings for patent infringement, due in court in 2019. On October 6, 2017, Google filed an application with the Federal Communications Commission FCC, and cleared it the same day, with authorization to start immediately to provide emergency LTE coverage to Puerto Rico in the aftermath of Hurricane Maria. The plan allows 30 balloons to relay communication between ground terminals connected to people's handsets. Google will have to install over-the-air updates to allow Band 8 operations and at the end of the authorization, a separate OTA update will disable this operation. Puerto Rico Governor Ricardo Rossello announced at a press conference on October 8, 2017 the launch of Google's Loon project on the Caribbean island, following its approval by the FCC. On October 9, 2017, multiple balloons were spotted near Puerto Rico via Flightradar 24. That same month, it was reported that the project had spun off into its own company Loon Inc., however, it was clarified that it still remained as a project at X, until July 2018. On November 9, 2017, it was reported that Google had launched several balloons from Nevada and positioned them over Puerto Rico as part of an effort to bring 100,000 people online. On July 11, 2018, X, Google's R&D facility, announced that Loon was graduating, becoming an Alphabet subsidiary in its own right rather than a project of X as part of its first commercial agreement with Telcom Kenya. Loon has pledged to bring in Internet access to some of Kenya's most inaccessible regions. To be live in 2019. Technology Loon is Alphabet's pursuit to deploy a high altitude balloon network operating in the stratosphere, at altitudes between 18 km and 25 km. Google asserts that this particular layer of the stratosphere is advantageous because of its relatively low wind speeds e.g., wind speeds between 5 and 20 miles per hour, 10 to 30 km per hour and minimal turbulence. Moreover, the company claims that it can model, with reasonable accuracy, the seasonal, longitudinal, and latitudinal variations in wind speeds within the 18 to 25 km stratospheric layer. Given a reasonably accurate model of wind speeds within the 18 to 25 km band, Loon claims that it can control the latitudinal and longitudinal position of high altitude balloons by adjusting only the balloon's altitude. By adjusting the volume and density of the gas e.g., helium, hydrogen, or another lighter-than-air compound in the balloon, the balloon's variable buoyancy system is able to control the balloon's altitude. 
Google has additionally indicated that balloons may be constructed from various materials e.g., metallized mylar or bopet or a highly flexible latex or rubber material e.g., chloroprene. Initially, the balloons communicated using unlicensed 2.4 and 5.8 GHz ISM bands, and Google claims that the setup allows it to deliver speeds comparable to 3G to users, but they then switched to LTE with cellular spectrum by cooperating with local telecommunication operators. It is unclear how technologies that rely on short communications times low latency pings, such as VoIP, might need to be modified to work in an environment similar to mobile phones where the signal may have to relay through multiple balloons before reaching the wider Internet. Google also experimented with laser communication technology to interconnect balloons at high altitude and achieved a data rate of 155 megabits per second over a distance of 62 miles, 100 kilometers. The first person to connect to the Google balloon internet after the initial test balloons were launched into the stratosphere was a farmer in the town of Leeston, New Zealand, who was one of 50 people in the area around Christchurch who agreed to be a pilot tester for Loon. The New Zealand farmer lived in a rural location that couldn't get broadband access to the Internet, and had used a satellite Internet service in 2009, but found that he sometimes had to pay over $1,000 per month for the service. The locals knew nothing about the secret project other than its ability to deliver Internet connectivity, but allowed project workers to attach a basketball-sized receiver resembling a giant bright red party balloon to an outside wall of their property in order to connect to the network. The technology designed in the project could allow countries to avoid using expensive fiber cable that would have to be installed underground to allow users to connect to the Internet. Alphabet feels this will greatly increase Internet usage in developing countries in regions such as Africa and Southeast Asia that can't afford to lay underground fiber cable. Equipment <inaudible> 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 The balloon envelopes used in the project are made by Raven Aerostar, and are composed of polyethylene plastic about 0.076 mm in thick. The balloons are superpressure balloons filled with helium, standing 15 m across and 12 m tall when fully inflated. They carry a custom air pump system dubbed the Crocher, that pumps in or releases air to ballast the balloon and control its elevation. A small box weighing 10 kg containing each balloon's electronic equipment hangs underneath the inflated envelope. This box contains circuit boards that control the system, radio antennas and a ubiquity networks rocket M2 to communicate with other balloons and with internet antennas on the ground, and batteries to store solar power so the balloons can operate during the night. Each balloon's electronics are powered by an array of solar panels that sit between the envelope and the hardware. In full sun, the panels produce 100 watts of power, which is sufficient to keep the unit running while also charging a battery for use at night. A parachute attached to the top of the envelope allows for a controlled descent and landing when a balloon is ready to be taken out of service. In the case of an unexpected failure, the parachute deploys automatically. When taken out of service, the balloon is guided to an easily reached location, and the helium is vented into the atmosphere. The balloons typically have a maximum life of about 100 days, although Google claims that its tweaked design can enable them to stay aloft for closer to 200 days. The prototype ground stations use a Ubiquity Networks Rocket M5 radio and a custom patch antenna to connect to the balloons at a height of 20 kilometers, 12 miles. Some reports have called Google's project the Google Balloon Internet.
The balloons are equipped with automatic dependent surveillance, broadcast and so can be publicly tracked along with, other balloons with the call sign, HBAL. Topic incidents On May 29, 2014, a loon balloon crashed into power lines in Washington, United States. On June 20, 2014, New Zealand officials briefly scrambled emergency services personnel when a loon balloon came down. In November 2014, a South African farmer found a crashed loon balloon in the Karoo Desert between Strydenburg and Britstown. On April 23, 2015, a loon balloon crashed in a field near Bragg City, Missouri. On September 12, 2015, a loon balloon crashed in the front lawn of a residence on Rancho Hills, Chino Hills, California. On February 17, 2016, a loon balloon crashed in the tea growing region of Gampola, Sri Lanka while carrying out tests. On April 7, 2016, a loon balloon landed on a farm in Dundee, KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. On April 22, 2016, a loon balloon crashed in a field in the Nimbaku Department, Paraguay. On August 22, 2016, a loon balloon landed on a ranch in Formosa, Argentina, about 40 kilometers west of the capital of Formosa. On August 26, 2016, a loon balloon landed northwest of Madison, South Dakota. On January 9, 2017, a loon balloon crashed in Siich, near Changuinola, Bocas del Toro Province, Panama. On January 8, 2017 and January 10, 2017, two loon balloons landed at 10 km E of Cerro Chato and 40 km NNW of Mariscala, Uruguay. On February 17, 2017 a loon balloon crashed in Buriti dos Montes, Brazil. On March 14, 2017, a loon balloon crashed in San Luis, Tolima, Colombia. On March 19, 2017, a loon balloon crashed in Taquarembo, Uruguay. On August 9, 2017, a loon balloon crashed in a reedbed in Olmos, Lambayeque, Peru. On December 30, 2017, a loon balloon crashed in North Ambiro, Igembe Central, Meru County, Kenya. Topic Reception Loon has generally been well received, although Square Kilometre Array project developers and astronomers have raised concerns that the lower of the two ISM bands that Loon uses GHz, will interfere with the mid-band frequency range 0.5 GHz to 3 GHz used in the SCAR project. Alphabet has not yet specified the costs of this project. Topic. See also List of countries by number of Internet users Mobile broadband modem Google Fiber High-altitude balloon Atmospheric satellite Alliance for Affordable Internet Internet Org Geostationary Balloon Satellite Outernet O3B Networks Google Free Zone Stratovision <laughs>